Hey guys, this is the Dark Preacher, and welcome back to my mod pack dev testing world for After the Cataclysm. I've got to come up with a shorter name, at, at least for this bit of the series. Um, this is the last time I have been working on adding new types of recipes. So first off, I stole an idea from Vagram. Uh, rosin I, or dictionary with slime balls. So you can make slime blocks out of rosin. You can also make magma cream, sticky pistons, leads, biomass. This is a big one. As long as you have a steady supply of some sort of cactus and can make cactus green, which you start out with lapis and dandelion yellow and then you use this plus where is it I added a recipe I know I did ah cactus green and some sort of leaf block and a water bucket gets you three tiny cactus which you can use to smelt down into cactus green but they won't spread and they won't grow unless you put it in a phytogenic insulator see that gets you a renewable source of cactus until then you're stuck manually crafting it <sighs> so uh, let's see this makes biomass biomass can be used in the bio gun and it can also be used to fill up the bio tank and it can be used to make creeper acid. Gunpowder you can make. Biomass you can make so you can get creeper acid all day long. Biomass and a biotank gets you biotank ammo. Simple, right? Well, there is another recipe I added. Uh, let's see here. Let's turn on our night vision and head over this way where I think I poked a hole poked a hole right here somewhere oh hi oh gotta reload hang on be with you in a second poked a hole somewhere but I'll poke another one See ya! Yeah, bring it. Bring it, sucker. Gotcha. Alright. Uh, let's see here. Somewhere slightly to the north of here, I believe, is. Ah, one of these. Where you can get. These are the uh, alien bug nests where you can get these uh, slimy blocks. They currently don't have a use in the mod itself. Whoa, hello! Don't you be following me home. Well, dang it. Is that it? So even the creepers got the good sense not to try and follow me. These guys, however. Ah, oh, come on. These guys will follow you up from halfway across the map. Jeez. I'm saying this right now, y'all are real lucky 
I didn't add something to up the difficulty level as it, as the game progresses. You know, difficulty blah blah blah. Over so many days. Okay. Goss rifle, pretty powerful, but slow as hell. Especially on the reload. Not something you want to be using in an enemy rich environment. Uh, let's see, what was I, what was I doing? Uh, let's get rid of that. Ah, right. This you can use to make three slime blocks. I added that recipe, but you can only do that if you go to the alien bug nests, clear them out, and take all the slimy blocks. If you clear out an entire alien bug nest, you get a lot of slimy blocks. Now, the reaction chamber. Ta-da! Tis formed. Uh, the reaction chamber housing... Uh, Oh, fudge. That recipe didn't save. Hooray. <sighs> I had changed that recipe. So that way, instead of cybernetic parts, you get the uh, metal press and the metal press. Put them in here. And that gets you reaction chamber housings. So I need to fix that recipe. Um, let's see here. Elite circuit boards, hardened glass, that gets you the reaction chamber controller. Add three pieces of hardened glass to six of these, you get six reaction chamber glass, which you need right here in this section. Now, uh, seed. Give me a seed. You can put a seed in here with the reaction chamber UV emitter. And get wheat and seeds but only if you keep this uh, intensity at the right level to keep the green going uh, you can use that with water 10% uh, lava you can put in four buckets 40% and the heat ray focus you can make blaze rods nice uh, you can put in titanium ore and creeper acid. You get out titanium ore chunks and iron ore. Now this can be smelted into a titanium ingot. That's how you can do some ore doubling. Uh, let's see how. A block of redstone and some lava gets you glowstone with the reaction chamber heat ray focus. Uh, a diamond and destabilized redstone gets you the laser focus. And nether star and resonant ender gets you the anti-gravity core. And the anti-gravity core, you need to make the plasma generator and the anti-gravity device. Yes, create a flight. The plasma generator, on the other hand, is used to make the TFG 10K. Yeah. I don't know why this has to... Oh, uh, one is for a depleted nuclear power cell and one is for a regular nuclear power cell. So, that is a good gun. That is like top tier right there. Um, let's see what else. Ah, yes. Uh, water, yellow cake, heat ray focus, enriched uranium. Enriched uranium is used for the plasma generator and small nuclear warheads. Which are made, which are used to make tactical nukes, which can be fired from the rocket launcher. Uh, tactical, tactical, tactical. Uh, let's get a stack of those and a rocket launcher. Guided Missile Launcher, Grim Reaper, regular rocket launcher. We'll try that. Uh, do 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 do. 
Let's go into the other dome. Where things aren't as... Uh, safe. <laughs> and won't be safe for long. Okay, so... Uh, let's see here. Go into here. Night vision, hide icons, safe mode off. There's a reason. Once we get rid of that, uh, I do believe we can go into here and put that there. Okay, maybe not the rocket launcher. Maybe the Grim Reaper? Yeah, it's just... Go away. Well, Dagnabbit. Maybe it's this thing. <laughs> that works pretty good. And is it that? Hmm? What am I hearing? Oh, these guys. Oh, come on. What uses this thing? Uh, nuke. It's ammo. What uses it? Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I know the issue. I know the issue. Do, do. We take that. We take that. Oh, it's not that. Rocket. We get to this, and we get to this, and we get to this. And then we take this, and that, and that. And then we take that there, put that there. And then we back down to the ground. <laughs> Pesky building in the way? Tactical nuke it. And yes, that takes care of everything. Oops. Uh, I think my anti-grav device <laughs> ran out. <laughs> uh. ah. Okay. Where did it? We teleported next to. My latest death. Great. <sighs> oh, and I went all my armor. Oh, well. We're just going to stay in this mode for now. And we're going to take that and go away. I'm going to take that. And let's find a crafting table so I can fix this in creative. Do, 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 do this and this and that. Okay, so pesky building. Building me gone. <laughs> and yep. And we give it a second. And then we go back in. We take a look at the destruction. Once the warp figures out what's going on. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Lag city over there. <laughs> it's because everything is updating. <laughs> it would update quicker if... Okay, okay. This... This is hilarious. Woo. This this is hilarious right here. Enchanting table. Enchanting tables are nuke proof. That's hilarious. And yep. And aim it a little higher. And 
In it goes. Up goes the mushroom cloud. And we wait. We wait for everything to <laughs> figure out what's going on. <sighs> okay, let's look away from there for a bit. Okay. So, this is going to be a short video. I am recording this on Saturday night to show off some of the stuff uh, that I've been changing for the newest version that's going to be coming out again. Uh, my patrons get early access to this. They are the ones that have been testing it for me. And... They've been doing a pretty good job at, uh, finding issues. And... Come on, come on, hit the building. Did it hit the building? I don't even know if it hit the building. Oh, God. Single digits. Back up. Back up. <laughs> okay. Bad idea. Don't do that. Uh, there's no worry about uh, radiation right now in the mod. Because uh, the mod dev hasn't gotten that implemented yet. So... You can tactical nuke to your heart's content. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> okay. Um, so, I have been changing recipes. I've been adding recipes. Oh, God. God. Get me to the other dome. <laughs> Let that one unload. Okay. So. We're, we're back up to the normal normal frame rate. Woo! Unloaded that chunk. Um, right, what I was going to show you. Uh, I need a seed. And I don't need that. Okay. We put in the UV emitter and we put in the seed. And it, it's a noisy... But you gotta make sure you meet that. Because it'll jump. And then you just bring it back down to three to start it over. And that gets you wheat and seeds. You have to be in this in order to change this. There is no automating this. This is not one of those, okay, put the thing in, walk away kind of machines. No, this is, you have to be over here in the UI switching this around. And it'll make a noise. A loud noise. But if you don't do anything and leave it at that, it'll keep doing this. And maybe, just maybe, by chance, it'll finish correctly. But more often than not, it won't. Like, okay, it's at two, back up to three, and it just ran through that seed. Nothing. So, in order to get this 100% every time, you have to be in this screen. Let's put it on five. Wait for it. Put it on six. Wait for it. See? Finish. You got wheat and two seeds back. You put in two seeds, you can get two seeds back if you don't pay attention to this. Maybe. So, that's just a warning for everyone who's uh, going to be playing this pack or the wasted pack who gets to the point where they get to the reaction chamber. Um, I have a recipe I need to fix because obviously it didn't save correctly. But uh, that's going to do it for me. As always, I am the Dark Preacher. This is my mod pack dev testing series for after the cataclysm. And if you want to join in on the fun and and 
possibly get onto my Grimco Wasted Early Release Pack server, you have to be a patron. Now, end of the month special has come and gone. Right now, only $5 patrons can access the servers. Uh, if you got in at the end of the month, last month, you can access all the servers. And I'd like to welcome KJ Master One, the mod dev behind Magic Books, to my patrons. He managed to get in. So thank you for that. And if you want to be part of the community, if you want to play on the servers, if you want to test the pack, then you have to be a patron. So head on over to patreon.com forward slash the dark preacher. Um, right now it's five dollars and up for new patrons right now to be able to access the servers, get on the Discord, um, be able to test the pack. If you want to just test this pack, you can be a one dollar patron and up. So but that's going to do it for me, as always. I'm the Dark Preacher. This is ATC Mod Pack Dev Testing, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.